Hey fam, it is Wednesday, November 16th. There has been a lot of crazy new tech coming out recently. So we have like Snapchat spectacles, we have the Microsoft Studio with the cool swizzle screen. There's just new drones. There's so many things, but it's all a distraction because something cooler than all those things just came out. Totally kidding, totally joking. Um, but that wasn't complete sarcasm because I'm actually genuinely excited about the new Apple book, coffee table book. Honestly, I'm a sucker for coffee table books. I mean, I have a good deal. I have a good deal of them. This one right here is my favorite coffee table book ever. It's all these iconic pictures from like the mid 90s. And then currently on my actual coffee table, um, I have some 99U magazines. This is a cool book that I got at a New Jersey art fair. It's just all these amazing pictures of um, the United States. One of my favorites from Reykjavik. Um, my trip to Iceland was by far one of the best, best 10 days of my life. Anyways, coffee table books are conversation starters. They are just pretty to look at and pretty decoration. And today, Apple released their book that chronicles 20 years of Apple design. They said, you know, they made it in memory of Steve Jobs. It covers products from 1998's iMac to 2015's Apple Pencil. Here's a Johnny Ive quote for you. The idea of genuinely trying to make something great for humanity was Steve's motivation from the beginning, and it remains both our ideal and our goal as Apple looks to the future. The archive is intended to be a gentle gathering of many of the products the team has designed over the years. We hope it brings some understanding to how and why they exist, while serving as a resource for students of all design disciplines. Oh, are they trying to make this like a, like a, school book like an educational textbook hey students here's another 300 dollar book you have to buy mm, y'all know i'm a sucker for white though that looks so clean 200 dollars for the small 300 dollars for the big this book is being released to limited store locations but i live in new york city so i should be able to find a store that has one um and of course i'm going to try to buy the big one the 300 dollar one um yeah 300 dollars yes i'm an apple fangirl and god three hundred dollars should i really spend three hundred dollars on okay okay bag board oh no it's not charged it makes me, it makes me it's done so the apple store off fifth ave has it so we're gonna take a adventure Uptown. I hate going uptown because that means I have to go through Midtown on my board, which is just not fun. But adventure time! how big this is. Boosted word. Book. This is my iPhone compared. So this is actually the smaller one and it's actually a normal sized book. Alright fam, I got the book. Time to go home. I am back home. What a adventure. But look, I got it. I got a new MacBook. Book. They were actually out 
of the large books. I thought the large would be a normal size coffee table book, but the small, so this is the small, but the large one is just massive, like you saw in the store. So I'm gonna unbox this thing, show you some cool pages from it, and yeah, hope you enjoy. Beautiful book. Um, here it is compared to a LaCroix magazine's iPhone. It's such a gorgeous book. It is so cool to see the evolution of things and to see the, you know, the colored huge iMacs that were in schools and then to see the evolution of the iPods. iPods. I remember that was like the thing that I always save up for is a new iPod and then at the click wheel the iPod mini and then the iPod, I forgot all their names. I never owned a shuffle though, I thought shuffles were pretty dumb. To think at one point Apple was all about just Mac and the iPod and that was about it. Um, and now to see them now and to just the insanity that is iPhone. There's always been talk around Apple of being overpriced for what you get. Um, but the one thing that I love about Apple, it's not the case with the last MacBook, but it's just simple. Simplicity always wins and they make products that just look so good and they just always work. They just work. And what they've done so brilliantly is to develop this ecosystem of just from your phone to your computer to your laptop to your watch um, that I just, I really enjoy. And now that Apple's getting comfortable and taking away all of our ports from us, it's interesting to see companies like Microsoft releasing the Microsoft Studio, um, the Microsoft Surface Studio. But yeah, it's an exciting time for tech. Cool book. Is it worth $200? Is it worth $300 for the big one? Who knows, it's up to you. I know for me it's something I enjoy flipping through and looking at it. And it's fun when like friends come over and see it. If you're a fellow Apple fan girl, fanboy, I did post a iPhone 7 Plus video test vlog thing uh, around New York City. It was a lot of fun to shoot. And I think it looks pretty darn good. And then I posted a recent vlog that's just, it's all the fall vibes. So you need, need to go check it out. Until next time guys, stay peachy. Okay, bye. Never seen something so beautiful and rare